Hey guys, what's up? River Karaba, the analytics guy here. Today, I want to take you through the back end of YouTube analytics and dive into one particular area, and that's devices. In YouTube analytics, they have this whole category dedicated to devices, but I feel like most people don't really know how to utilize that information. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can look at that information and how you can use these types of things. So let's jump over into the analytics. Uh, I've got my vlogging channel here, separate from this channel, just to give us some data. Uh, and you can navigate to your actual analytics uh, tab here, go down to the device section, and then you should get a look that looks something like this. I have this just filtered to this year. So this would give us the information here. I just want to kind of walk through the lay of the land first and then dive into some ideas for you uh, as you look here. So first of all, everyone's information is going to look very different. So whether it looks like this or or like that, <laughs> if it looks like this, or if uh, it, it looks a little bit different, depending on your channel, depending on what you're talking about, it's going to be, you know, look drastically different. Uh, there's different metrics that you can add in here. You can expand this to see the full list if you like. We're just going to keep it for what it is right now. Uh, but then you can change the way the data stacks out. So in the form of daily, weekly, monthly, etc. So let's do weekly, just see how that looks. So it's a little bit easier to read other than daily. So uh, down here at the bottom, you have the different device types. So how YouTube chooses to define these, they do have these bubbles down here that you can click on and hear exactly what that is. So in this case, computers are laptops and desktop computers. Uh, they've got mobile phone, TV, tablet, game console, and unknown. Most people do uh, notice this kind of unknown uh, throughout YouTube analytics. That's basically when you have just data that is not reconcilable by their system. So uh, it's normally a smaller percentage of the uh, analytics. If you do see that number rising, uh, definitely submit like a help ticket for that because that's that's not normal. Uh, and YouTube needs to know when there's bugs. But in here, uh, the ones that I think most of us don't really balk much at is this difference between mobile uh, and kind of the laptops or desktop computers. You can see for here, the views are mostly mobile, 42%, um, uh, while 35% desktop. Um, different varying watch times are, are pretty even, which is kind of interesting. So um, you can see that the desktop computers have a slightly bigger watch time than uh, you do for views. But uh, along that watch time note, the thing that I kind of wanted to focus on today's video about actually is this TV. So first of all, what is TV? Uh, it defines it here in the YouTube analytics as smart TVs and set top boxes for TVs. So uh, sometimes we could refer to these as smart TVs, refer to these as connected TVs. Uh, in the ad industry, we call it OTT or over the top. Um, over the top systems are uh, typically referred to like YouTube TV, Sling TV, uh, PlayStation View, uh, even Netflix and Hulu gets bucketed into this. And this is just kind of interesting of that whole category because we've seen this uh, connected TV, this TV metric rise more and more and more. And when you look over here in your analytics, this is something interesting you can look at. For this particular channel uh, alone, you can see 49,000 watt times, so only 20%. But the views, right, are only 11%. So 5,000 views with 49 minutes, 49,000 watch time minutes, while up here, the, the proportion of the views to watch time is substantially smaller, right? So people that are watching on connected TV are watching longer. So think about that. That's just so interesting. Uh, it reminded me of a statistic from eMarketer, which is a pretty highly respected research uh, firm in the advertising space. And in 2018, they actually estimated that 181 and a half million people would be using connected TV devices at least once a month. Okay, that's 55% roughly of the population are going to be using connected TVs. So you can come in here to YouTube analytics and say, oh my gosh, connected TV, that is how I'm driving a lot of watch time. Well, whether it's connected TV or mobile or the computer or the game consoles, depending on what you're trying to do on your channel, you can then pivot your actual strategy and how you produce videos, what you produce videos about, um, the interactive elements recently 
I know Apple TV uh, that has the YouTube app. YouTube recently updated their app on there to now include cards and the different elements that we have seen be available on mobile and desktop for some time now. And that's huge. And that's going to add to the already increasing amount of views and watch time that those devices take. So when you think about uh, what types of resolutions do I need for my videos or the formats of my videos, even honestly, if you're editing with headphones versus just open speakers, how does that audio sound? You know, there are times where I'll produce videos and actually put it on my connected TV to hear and see it through the TV just to understand how uh, it's sounding. So think about how this little bit of information can influence your entire strategy uh, just by looking at devices alone. If you make a more seamless experience for your viewers and uh, make it easier for them to continue to watch you and uh, it's very aesthetically pleasing in terms of the format and transitions and different things, you will accumulate more and more watch time, which we all know here on YouTube is exactly the number one strategy, how to grow and get larger. So uh, definitely check out this different uh, section here. Tons of little nuggets like that. I'll just go through a couple more things. Uh, they do have the operating systems here uh, to, their, to their best analysis. Um, so iOS would be like the Apples of the world, Windows uh, devices. Uh, each of these are just able, and you're able to click in even lower. They'll allow you to uh, get you know what types of iOS devices. Is this many mobile, this many tablet, etc. cetera. Um, you can look at geographies. It just is a rabbit hole that will keep going and going and going. Um, um, which is which is really great. So let's back up back to where we were. Go back to device type. You can look at any number of these metrics and sort by them, and obviously these rankings will change accordingly. So um, <clears throat> if I was to look here and sort by average view duration, uh, which is a little bit of what I was talking about earlier, that average view time, um, you can see the average here is 11 minutes. Uh, for this unknown category that we obviously are not going to be able to define. So unfortunately, uh, you won't be able to quantify that with anything really actionable. Um, but the very next one is nine minutes, and that's TV, uh, followed by game consoles, which if you think about the a, a, a person's viewing habits sitting down for a session, much like a show, people are a lot more accustomed to longer view times while uh, being on their mobile phone and different things will happen that interrupt their session. You know, the, the doorbell rings to get the pizza or, um, you know, someone calls them or a text comes in or a tweet or whatever it is um, that would interrupt that session. That makes total sense that you'd see mobile uh, down at the bottom uh, for this channel uh, and then just the computer sessions on average, uh, much more scale, so it's much more stable. Uh, but just you see a little bit lower watch time. So hopefully, guys, that helped you out. Uh, just give you a little bit more comfortability with diving in here and giving you some ideas. Um, everything that we do here on the Analytics Guy is meant to inspire action for you. Uh, you obviously can comment in the comment section below or tweet me at Yo Analytics Guy for specific questions. Uh, but all of our videos here are meant to inspire you, inspire action, get those creative juices flowing, and helping you achieve your goals. So thanks very much for watching today, guys, and we. We will see you in the next video.